This is a podcast of Nathan, Nat and Sean. Let's go! It was absolutely fantastic to see Matthew Pavlich inducted into the AFL Hall of Fame. Look sharp oh as Oh, my Derek. God, the next bomb. Oh, He's a beautiful, it. beautiful man. Stunning. Have come in. You looked amazing last night. <laughs> well, it's, uh, I didn't do any, uh, you know, as always, it takes about three minutes to put on the penguin so yeah. compared to what Lauren, Lauren had to go through um, with her beautiful dress and the way she scrubbed up, but uh, great night uh, for us all over here in Melbourne, and yeah. uh, a, a really nice thing to celebrate together with the family who, who made their way across from Perth um, and Adelaide, and also uh, lots of people in the Fremantle, uh, I guess, brethren, if you like. It's been nice to share it with us all. Yeah, have, yeah it's have, beautiful. I think, you, I think you're a bit too harsh on yourself with how amazing you looked. Yeah. We want to break this down for guys that want to get, okay, what what, you, what get that look. Yeah. Talk to us about um, what hair products did we use last night to create the Matthew, Matthew Pavlich Hall of Fame look? Well, so let me break this down for you. I've got a suit from two, my suit, this is gonna, This is not good, like from 2005. Mm. It's the same suit from oh, 2005. So that's a, cut. Ma- still fits. Maybe that, maybe that still fits, yeah, tick on that. Uh, yeah, on that yeah. I remember, yeah, hey, Pav, I remember like, Belly telling his, his uh, um, he had a, suit, a penguin suit that he used to roll out every year, and then it got to a point where he thought that Lana must have chucked it in the dry cleaners four or five times should, over because it got a bit fit. smaller. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, yo, that's mm. great. That's yeah, a great yeah. stuff. Yeah, right, so you. Know, it, yeah. Uh, it's a good, it's a, it's a good measure of uh, where your fitness is at or, or your waistline is at if you can still fit into the, the penguin suit from 16, 17 years yeah, ago. Well so done. that's a dick. Um, pair of products, mm. I think it was, I reckon maybe Kevin Murphy, is that a, is that a thing? Yeah, that is, that is a, a thing. It's a thing. That's uh, a thing, yeah. So Kevin Murphy is a thing and I reckon not the, um, traditionally Murphy. I normally go with the green, like army Kevin Murphy um, hair gel, but this oh. this. Driver was the black one. So oh, I didn't hair know, gel. A big occasion. A hair yeah. gel. Oh, no, it was it's mud? not gel. It's in, mud. It's in, a um, wax? wax? Like a, like a wax. mud? A clay? Wax. A clay? A clay? A clay? Uh, no, I think this is a wax. This is a yeah. wax. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you ever used to wear the moose? You would have been a moose man, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, I reckon maybe back in the days it's uh, <laughs> trying to... You know, uh, year seven disco, or year eight disco, or whatever it was. Sean used to, to use them. Yeah, I would have used sure. it all. Sean used to pack oh, yeah. his hair full of well. The crunchy curls. <laughs> well yeah, well. crunchy hey, curls. Pav, was <laughs> it? Yeah. You sound fresh to this morning, but la- you oh. were the first one inducted, which meant that meant you could get on it because you've done your speech and everything, right? Yeah. Well, it sort of threw me because uh, of all the people I didn't thank, um, specifically included my wife. So she's reminding me and looking at me at the moment with uh, her. Evil eyes. Uh, I didn't specifically thank her, so Oops. it threw me off given the fact that I was up so early. But no, yes, I did get on it. Uh, it was good. I, I was having a beer late with the likes of Stephen Kernahan, Jonathan Brown, uh, my dad, and Michael Taylor, who was a sort of famous South Australian. He was inducted last night. So, uh, and my brother in law, Tim, who, who actually made all the way from uh, New York via oh. Paris to get oh, here. So, wow. the amazing. Him. So, we, um, we, <laughs> We had uh, we were drinking a, at that stage a, a gin and tonic. We were well and truly done on the on the beers, but uh, it was good fun. Yeah, I bet, Pav. I always wonder in that position and think of um, your parents, Steve and Jan, being there. Like if it was yeah. you know, any of my kids who were able to be elevated to that kind of level and performed in that way, I don't know how it would go. I'd be an absolute blubbering mess. Um, how how were your parents last night? Oh, I think just incredibly. Proud. Dad, Dad and I had a had a little moment before we had headed downstairs in our room. We, we had everyone up just for a quick drink and um and yeah, you know, a couple of photos and all that kind of stuff up in our in our room with the kids. And uh, he just you know grabbed us and said, you know, we're so incredibly proud of you. Which it was a really really nice moment. Um, mm. you know, you, you know, I mean, having kids yourself, Shawnee, you know how much you love your kids and how much you'll support them and whatever they do, uh, and you'll back them in and, and just give them all your love and attention, but. Um, I guess that you know, forty years um, of doing that, and then uh, yeah, having having seen me grow up and, and mature alongside the footy club, and I mentioned yeah. that last yeah. night. Yeah. That I, I feel like sort of I, I grew up in front of everyone's eyes, and so did the football club, and, and maybe mum and dad got to see that from afar. Uh, but to share that the, the moment with them and be there. Late in the night having a, a gin and tonic, it was nice to do that with them. Um, now, of course, you told us that you didn't really formally thank your wife, Lauren. Mm. Would you like to – what would you have said? Would you like to mm. do it now? 
for, for the people. <laughs> well, Perth. no, I've, I've, I've done it in person, Nathan. I've done it. Uh, I know, but not publicly. Know. So, yes. as far as we know, you've well, never no, I thanked did. up. I did, on, I did it on Fox Footy. I did it on no, Nine News. Like, I haven't no, heard it. Publicly many times. But I, haven't heard I would it. say that, uh, um, you know, she she's an incredible mother, but she's even a better a partner. So, I think that's a, a oh. thumbs her up. Lozalenko. Um, yeah, she. I mean, you know, she's ridden the ups and downs as much as anyone um, of an AFL career. And now, you know, she she didn't really want to be thrust in the spotlight. But I guess, you know, my career and, and even now uh, doing the stuff I'm doing, we're in the spotlight. And, and yeah. that brings good and bad things. Um, and she's ridden all of it with me. Uh, been an incredible support and I couldn't have done it without her. Now, yeah. any um, couples right now that are listening, mm. I want the, the, the female to turn to the man right mm. now and say... Why don't you yes. say anything like ever. that about me? Ever. Yeah, yeah, Why don't you ever say anything? <laughs> and um, force him to say something yeah. as heartfelt. <laughs> right yeah, um, Lauren's got me. Lauren's got me like my arm behind my back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure she has. Yeah, I tell you what, what, it wasn't a horrible it. mistake for you to marry a physio either, was it? <laughs> well, this is it. Like when I got asked last night about uh, you know, what was the secret to durability and longevity of the game, I, I just looked at my wife. And said, well, <laughs> she was the one. She uh, she she loosened my back yeah. and, uh, and made sure yeah. that I. 24 hour physio care. Yeah. yeah. No, that's and also, it. at that's any time, it, eh? can knock him out with a Vulcan death grip. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Don't mess with her. Hey, Pam, I want to ask you um, last night when you're looking around the room, and of course, you see names mm. sort of people have been inducted. And I was saying to us, the guys off air before, like, there's some unbelievable records. Mm. Unbelievable records yeah. of yeah. older players and stuff like that. Was it, was it, I don't know. Were you blown away by some of the people you got to meet and, and to think that your name is yeah, now at that level? Yeah, I still think he is, Shorty. Um, uh, you know, like you know, across the the table from me was uh, Dennis Marshall, the great Western Australian. Stephen Michael was yeah. you know, in the room. Yep. Um, there was Dale Waitman. There was uh, you know, John Brown, uh, Chris Judd, Dean Cox. Like you know, um, you guys I played with. But then you think about some of the legends of the yeah. game. Uh, Kevin Sheedy was literally you know uh, six meters from where we were sitting. So. Um, guys that I admired uh, and went to battle against and people I respected just growing up. Um, you know, last night there were three 29s inducted into huh. the Hall of Fame. Wow. Uh, Michael Taylor was a famous 29 for, for Nord and, and yeah. Collingwood. Boomer oh, Harvey, no. games record holder. And myself, and like, you know, I think combined games last night uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame must be some type of record. So still pinching myself, Shorty, that you know, I'm, I'm in the company of only 300 other people. Yeah. It's, um, it, it's a pretty unique group, and the good thing is we get to come to Melbourne every year now and yeah, yeah, get on the yeah. and have a good night. Yeah, yeah. I, I know that when um, a Hollywood celebrities get the Hollywood um, star uh, on the Walk of Fame, they get in, they uh, get asked if they'd like to accept it. Is this a thing where that what, what happens when they ring you? Is it like a do you, <laughs> do you formally accept this? How does that go? Yeah, so it's, it is a formal process. So yeah. uh, Richard Goiter, the, the chair of the AFL, who and this is you know. Bizarre turn of events. So Lauren actually used to babysit the goiter kids. They grew up together in Florida. <laughs> oh, I see so what's happening here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So um, yeah, there's obviously some favoritism playing <laughs> playing out, um, perhaps. But I so Richard, uh, I had a missed call from Richard. I was like, oh, geez, I wonder what what's this about. This is sort of way back in in March when I, I was first um, given notice that, that this was a, a possibility. And then I called him back, and we were just uh, sort of chewing the fat and having a bit of a chat. And then he said, I'm actually, I've got something serious to talk to you about. Oh, I thought, geez, what, oh. what have I done? What's yeah. done? And, <laughs> um, and, and he said, uh, he said, oh, you know, congratulations. You've been uh, nominated to be inducted to the, the Australian Football Hall of Fame. Okay. And, and there was sort of this awkward pause, and I, I wasn't really sure what to, to say or what to do. And he said, I did. Do you accept it? I was like, oh, shit, yeah, of course. <laughs> 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 yeah, what else are you going to say? Exactly. What a no-brainer oh, of a question. <laughs> That's uh, right. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that would have been amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think uh, I think there's a few guys, you know, um, Adam Goods is probably the most obvious one yep. who, who should yeah, yes. certainly be in there, but I think he uh, still yeah. isn't quite uh, ready to, to accept that opportunity. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I, I took it, uh, as I said, I said, pretty quickly. I was happy to say, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm in. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Pat, do, do you now. get anything with that? Uh, being a 300-gamer, yes. a life member of the AFL, you get two tickets to the AFL Grand Final. What do you get any other uh, thing yeah, other than um, going to dinner? Uh, well, I, there's some sort of certificate that I got last night. I'm not sure oh. um, what that looks like or, or what that's going to, some sort of frame thing. Um, I don't know what the extra... 
what the extra mayo might be on this one. Is, um, is there yeah. an actual hall? Like, is are there is there somewhere you can go where everyone's <laughs> photos are up the, in the Hall of Fame? That's a good question. Maybe, maybe at AFL headquarters yeah. that, that no one goes to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, it I should be know, like so. at the MCG or something where yeah. you can walk down the hall and all Proper the pictures are there or something. Yeah, look, uh, maybe the, the, the MCG Sports Museum, there might be yeah. some sort of recognition. Actually, now that you, you mentioned that, I think there is a... Um, a bit of a, a board, if you want, for, for one yeah, of a better like term. But, yeah, I think, yeah, two two tickets to any game, effectively, Shawnee, as long as you're going through the website and, yeah, <laughs> and no, log no. on. So, so, so you just walk in and say, Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame, look it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, I may, maybe there should be a badge that you can just yes. you know, show it and flash it when, right. you, when you need to. You need yeah. you need free drinks. You yeah. should be able to walk around the MCG yeah. and, and, and have your and card. And a secret handshake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Free drink. I reckon yeah. hot chips. Like yeah. Hot chips. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and a lettuce. Or I don't know. They're just really expensive at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Pat, we're super proud yeah. of you. And uh, what a night for you last night. Well deserved. So, yeah, it's just amazing, mate. It's, it's oh, just you're on so your TV impressive. now with your certificate. That looks mm. nice. Where, yeah, you go, where are you going to hang that? Have you got? Do you hang up stuff at your house about your uh, career or not? No, we, I've got a little. Well, it, yeah, it's not little. Lauren will say um, it's obviously too big and takes up much, much more than. We anticipated when we built the house, but we've got a cellar which has sort of turned into a bit of a man cave. So we've got some wine down there, got a few, you know, old the, photos. The swing. Stuff like yeah. That. And, the, and, sh- and the shrine. The swing. The swing. <laughs> don't worry, we don't want to get yeah. it. It's a family yeah, we, show. We don't talk- we don't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> here, the kids aren't allowed down there. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I don't know why, Daddy. There's a swing down there. <laughs> Partic- particularly, after, particularly after nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy and Daddy time. <laughs> Good Good on on it's you, great, man. mate. Love your work, mate. Well done, we'll see buddy. you soon, eh? Bye, mate. Good on you guys. Thank no, you. Don't you. approach your seesaw. <laughs> Nathan, Matt, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.